up guys all right guys so i came out here trying to look for some mullet god man look at all this trash these people are leaving behind none to be found but there is this one rod it looks like somebody lost in the water so i went back to my truck got the biggest rod that i had gotten there and i am going to try and recover that rod right there I think I got it. I think I got it. Yep. I got it. Oh. Looks like something took the uh the rod in. He lost it. See if there's anything wrapped up on the line. Oh, it's wrapped up on a branch over there. Alright you guys, check it out. I was able to recover from the water. It's a, it seems to be a Shimano Stimula. I don't think I've ever seen this rod before, but pretty lightly, lightweight little rod. It's got a Shimano uh, FX reel on there. I'm not exactly sure what size it is because uh, it's a 4000. There you go. Nice little 4000 reel. Um, who knows how long it's been sitting in the water, but whoever owned this seemed to have just left it there because they cast it under the mangroves over there and either something pulled it in or they were just unable to just untangle the line and just kind of left it in the water so but they're lost right so i'm gonna take this home with me and see what i can do with it all right you guys so i brought this thing home it's just mono stimula we got a medium heavy fast action rod seven feet you can See that there this thing will focus in but that's cool with the with an fx 4000 rod so what we're going to do is take this thing apart clean it up um because who knows how long it's been sitting in the in the salt water there so i'm going to go ahead and clean this thing up all right so i took the line off of the reel because it was about i think it was maybe either 40 or 50 pound braid which is a little more than what I like to work with, um, especially with these smaller reels. Um, so I just took that off, I snipped it up, cut it into small pieces, threw it away. Um, whenever that thing goes, uh, you know, to the trash, it doesn't get dumped or any animals just, you know, get on it. But use the bowl there, and I'm pretty much just rinsing her down with some fresh water. Once I finish doing this, I'm gonna dry her up. I'm gonna open up the, the reel, see what's going on inside, and if I need to do any lubing, any greasing, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I took out the drag tension knob and check out all that mess in there. Um, so again, I don't know how long this thing's been sitting in the water, but look at that grease, it's not looking too good. So as soon as this thing dries out a little bit, I'm gonna rip her apart, clean her up. Hopefully she'll work good. All right, so the wife might be a little uh, mad when she sees this video, but I pretty much put the rod in our shower <laughs> and I rinsed it off. Um, but we live in an apartment building. I really don't have access to uh, to a garden hose or anything like that to be able to, to clean this thing off properly. But I rinsed it off and got some fresh water on there. So I'm just kind of drying her up, 
And what I'm going to do is I'll probably get some silicone spray, spray everything down, spray down the rings and stuff like that, just to avoid um, any uh, any water. Just get rid of maybe any any little salt that I may have missed on the uh, on the rings right there. And I'll go ahead and clean the cork out with a magic eraser. I think I made a video on that one uh, one time also. Um, I'll link it if I can uh, when I find it. So you guys can check that out, but pretty much you just get a magic eraser, scrub this thing down, it's gonna look brand new. All right, so it took me a little bit to get that casing off. Hold on, let me... So you guys can see all the rust that's built up around the gears on the inside. So that's what I'm going to try and clean off. Let's see if we can't get this thing restored. All right, so here's where we're at right now. I've got this thing torn up into different pieces. All the gearing on the inside. Of the reel. Um, all this is pretty much just cleaned up. Everything on the napkin here is just residual from when I first put it on there. Kind of letting everything dry up right now at the moment before looping everything up and putting it back together. Got the reel put back together. As you can see, it's all nice and clean now to what it looked uh, compared to what it looked like before and super buttery smooth now. So let's go ahead and put this on the rod. I'll probably take this out to the uh, tackle shop. I'm thinking this reel is rated for, let's see, what did it say here? Um, for up to, up to 30 pound, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'll probably spool it with maybe 15 pound braid, 20 at the max. That's probably what I'll do. I have enough reels at 20 pound, uh, 20 pound braid, so um, I'll do that. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and take this, uh, take this out to the tackle shop. Spool it up with some 15 pound braid and as soon as we get that on there, let's get out there and catch a fish with this rod we just found.